Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed day today. We are celebrating two things. We are congratulating Matthew on his graduation. So this dinner is a graduation dinner along with we are celebrating Canada Day. So to all my Canadian brothers and sisters, happy Canada Day to each and every one of you. Matthew already had a graduation dinner, the banquet, they had a dinner. Mom always liked to celebrate with some special food at home. So if you wanna see how I make all this, come on down and let me show you. I made some delicious sorrel gravy first ever. I was just being creative today. Some mashed potatoes, it's Matthew's favorite, and some asparagus and my oregano garlic chicken. So come on down and let's cook together. So I have a chicken here that I washed and I'm gonna step out in my garden and get some fresh oregano and I'm gonna make a simple but delicious chicken for the graduation dinner slash Canada Day dinner. So let's go out and pick our oregano and I will show you how I am preparing this chicken. Here I have my oregano plant and I'm gonna pick fresh seasoning. I always enjoy using fresh seasoning in my cooking so and this is an amazing seasoning it gives so much flavor so this here will add lots of flavor to our chicken let's head on inside the kitchen and blend these babies up so i have here some garlic and my oregano and oregano really smells like thyme and a mixture of basil but it really, really have a beautiful fragrance and flavor for any kind of meat. So when you use this, you don't need much, and especially when it is fresh, the flavor is amazing. So I'm gonna put these into my blender and I'm gonna roughly blend them up to season our chicken. So now I have simple ingredients to add. I have some paprika some salt for flavor and like I mentioned before with the oregano and garlic that's all we need for this chicken so today's chicken flavor is gonna be garlic oregano chicken we're gonna add the salt into the mixture and the paprika into the mixture we're gonna mix all of this goodness in and the paprika will give it some heat and plus a nice color. And then we're gonna start applying all that goodness onto the chicken. So let me marinate the chicken and come right back and show you how this chicken look after. So I just went in with my hands and I well and marinate the chicken all under the skin on the other side. I'm gonna leave it for maybe half an hour or an hour before I put it into the oven and this will give us a very delicious chicken to go with our dinner today. So now that the chicken is fully marinated, I am gonna cook it in my oven basket so it won't be resting in the liquid that comes out of the chicken and it will be able to cook evenly from bottom to top. So in my 350 degree oven, I will put it in there about an hour or so, our chicken will be ready. So since it's Canada Day weekend, and I wanna make something like red and white to represent the weekend as well as celebrating Matthew's graduation, I made some sorrel drink and I saved some of the sorrel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make some gravy with the sorrel, the first ever sorrel gravy. And then I'm gonna um, blend this up with some water. So in my blender, I add one cup of water. We're gonna add our sorrel. And we're gonna blend this up. So we're gonna strain it to get out all the pulp. Okay. 
and I'm trying to experiment today and make this a very flavorful sorrel gravy. So our chicken, one hour to the exact, is finished. I'm gonna leave it a little bit more into the oven to brown up a bit more. So look at this, it's a clean cook, no oil on the chicken. All the oil is resting in the pan here, look at that. And we're gonna have a perfectly less greasy chicken. So in the pan here I have a teaspoon of toasted flour. I'm gonna add some onion powder and this is to make our gravy. We're flavoring the gravy here. I'm gonna go in with some black pepper. So we're creating a flavor for our gravy. And I'm gonna add the sorrel liquid that I just blended up to reduce a bit. So let me add that in. Nice and red. And this flour is gonna help to thicken the gravy to a nice, texture and this the um, oregano and garlic seasoning that I blended I'm gonna add some into the liquid so a tablespoon of garlic and oregano and we're gonna have an amazing flavor here but remember that sorrel is very tardy so we're gonna have to add something nice and sweet to change that flavor. And I'm gonna go in with some sugar cane sweetener. The natural sugar cane sweetener that I'm using today is also called jaggery. And this is made strictly with sugar cane juice, no additives and no sweetener. So it is really, really good if you never had this before. This is one of the best sweetener you can ever use. So now our gravy is looking nice. I'm gonna add the jaggery into the, the gravy or the sugar cane sweetener. And this will add some sweetness to the gravy because the sorrel is a little bit tardy, like I mentioned before. So once this dissolves, I'm gonna strain my gravy and this is gonna be ready. So now that our gravy is done, I decide I'm not gonna strain it because I wanna have all that ingredients into the gravy. I added a pinch of salt to regulate the sweetness, but it have a wonderful flavor and it have so much depth to it. So if you never had sorrel gravy before, Please give it a try. This is Charmin's special invention. It looks and smells so good. Mm -hmm. So here is our graduation dinner. Hi, Matt. Hi. Slash Canada Day celebration. Say hi, girls. Hi. So we hi. have all the dinner laid out on the table. We made our favorite sorrel drink and everything is homemade. You guys know I can't wait for that opportunity to celebrate when I can. So Matthew's gonna do his taste test. And these are the food that Matthew likes. So he's actually having two graduation dinner because at the banquet hall, he had a dinner there. So Matthew, he, I see him diving for some of the potato and the sorrel gravy, let me know. This is the first time I'm making it. I just want to be creative today. The potato tastes amazing. Like I couldn't ask for any other uh, potatoes and the gravy goes very well with it. It's like the perfect combination. Okay. 
So you have to dive in for your chicken now. So guys, I'm gonna try the chicken now. It's amazing. It has so much flavor and it's so nice and juicy. Okay. And most importantly, I'm so proud of you, Mom, for making all of this in such a short time. And I really appreciate the effort you put into all this stuff. Aww, give Matthew a big kiss for me then. <laughs> so we want to say a little, um, little speech for you as usual. Matthew, I would like to wish you a very, very bright future ahead with many, many more years of success. May your school years in high school and university and for the rest of your life be a smooth path and a very very successful one dad is looking after the raisin bun so he's all the way over here but daddy can shout out something yeah macho i'm very proud of you uh keep it up right and set your goals and work towards it and you will achieve it you, there's nothing that you can't do Anything you put your mind to, you can you can accomplish, okay? Yeah, thank you guys. Yes. So, Natalie, you want to say? I want to say congratulations. To Natalie, say Thanks congratulations. Natalie. How about you, Chef? Congratulations, you Natalie. Thank you. So, for all who celebrated a um, graduation this season, I would like to wish you a very successful and bright future. If you're celebrating an anniversary today, I want to wish you a happy one. If you're celebrating Canada Day like us, happy Canada Day to you and your family. And if you're celebrating a birthday, I would like to wish you a happy, happy birthday. I also have a birthday shout out going out to Samantha Anthony Singh all the way from South Africa. Greetings are coming from your mom, Premi Anthony and your loving dad. They love you so much. Birthday greetings are also coming from the YouTube family. Hope you had a wonderful and blessed birthday. We have some raisin buns. I'll show that after, but we're gonna dig in and enjoy our dinner. So now we finish with dinner. Our graduate have here some raisin buns and he is, yes, let me see the bottom. Nice. So there's some raisin, cranberries and some dates in here so Matthew you can take a bite break it whatever you however you want to eat it and let us know wow look at that the, and there's a lot of spices in there as well like nutmeg cinnamon and some orange peel and all that good stuff taste it and let us know it tastes so good you can taste all the raisins, the dates, the spices, everything goes together and tastes just like Easter. And yeah. It, yeah, and it's an amazing Canada Day dish. You guys can make this so easily. Because you know why? Why it tastes like Easter? Why? It's the cross buns recipe, but I added some cranberry inside. You, you really have a good um, taste, intuition. So hope you all had a wonderful day today wherever you're watching from we are celebrating canada day and today the dinner is also a dinner for matthew's graduation so matthew i think we're not gonna end the video yet because it's canada day and we will watch some fireworks before we end this video what do you think i think that sounds good yeah so stay tuned and let's Wait for some fireworks later tonight. See you guys then. So now I'm gonna share some of my favorite clips from the graduation with you all. Remember to celebrate all the meaningful events in your life. It doesn't have to be a big celebration. The little things matter. We celebrate everything in our family in the most simplest way as you all know. So stick around and enjoy the rest of the graduation clips.